So I wanted to do a video um, talking about some of the issues that I've had um, growing soursop and getting it to flower and fruit. And I discovered uh, something quite interesting that I think um, some people could benefit from. And what happened with this tree is that, you know, for, you know, it took almost four years for it to start fruiting. It did flower after two years, but no fruit until four years in the ground. But there was this one branch here that going to the right that wouldn't produce any flowers. So I did some research into um, stress flowering or forest flowering and different methods. And I, I, I did try this method and it seems to have worked pretty well. So if you're having issues, you might want to try this. So what I did was uh, I basically damaged you know, the, can the cambium layer of this branch, as you could see all the way around, almost completely all the way around. I stopped it at some point, but I did you know, clearly damage it. This was about maybe two months ago. And I, you know, in an attempt to see if it would flower. And before I had almost no flowers on it. And now there's quite a few flowers I'll show you. One there. This one's here. It's pollinated already. Another one here. See that it's, that one's pollinated. Then there's quite a few flowers coming. So one small one there. Another one here. There's a couple more up here that are already pollinated. Another one up there, I don't know if you can see it, but another one right here. So as you can see, it's definitely flowering. Oh, and another one here. So clearly this method works. One more right here. So that's probably, I don't know, I didn't count, but that could be 10 flowers. And before I did this process, there was almost none. So this, it does work. And I suggest if you're having trouble fruiting your soursop, you might want to try it. And also, um, as you could see in the last video, I only had one soursop. Now I have flowers pretty much everywhere. And I have several fruits that are coming. See. And once your you know soursop does start flowering, it, you know it's pretty easy to self-pollinate. And I do recommend self-pollinating if you like a lot of fruit. Also, another good thing about soursop is that it does fruit in partial shade, as you can see. This, this tree is being shaded by this large mango tree. So, yeah, highly recommend it. Trying some of these methods to get your soursop fruiting. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll, I'll be more than happy to help you because soursop's a really great um, fruit and plant with lots of medicinal benefits. So, yeah, you could try these methods, see if they work for you. Thanks for watching.